Hi, I'm Molly Rose and welcome to your practice. For today's practice, you'll need two blocks and we'll start in a supported fish. Set up your blocks at the back of your mat with one of them on the skinny setting in between the shoulder blades and the other on the highest height to support the back of the head. Go ahead and lay down on the blocks. You can have your knees bent or you can straighten your legs forward, really whichever feels best. Make any little adjustments that you need to make and then close your eyes. Begin to deepen the breath as you feel the body start to get heavy. And the shoulder heads roll down towards the mat. Relax through the hinges of your jaw. Feel the back body begin to melt down into the support of the block. Observe the breath as it expands and rises all the way up into the chest. And it falls all the way back down to the low belly. And if the legs are straight, go ahead and bend your knees, plant your feet. Take the hands to the back of the skull and interlace your fingers. Press into your feet and lift your hips up like you're coming to bridge pose. You'll feel more weight on that block that's in between the shoulder blades. And just start to move forward and backward on that block like you're using it to carve out some space behind the heart. And then slowly drop the hips back down to the mat. Release the palms and find a few big rotations with the arms. You can cactus them wide and circle the elbows or just do anything that feels good here. Straighten the legs forward. Keep them about mat width distance apart. Rise up and away from the blocks and hinging out of the hips, fold straight forward into a really soft forward fold over the legs. Let the upper spine round, let the shoulders hunch forward. And then start to roll yourself upright and come into a seat. Cross your ankles or your shins. Sweep your arms overhead and grab opposite elbows. Take a side bend over to the left. And then rise through center and take it to the right. Banding the breath through each side of the body. Upright the spine, reach the arms overhead. Bring the palms together in front of the heart. Interlace your fingers and press the palms up overhead towards the ceiling or the sky. Take an inhale and on the exhale, bend to the left. And then inhale through center and exhale to the right. And as you come back through center, take a deep breath in. And on the breath out, twist to your right. Tent your right fingertips behind you and plant your left palm on your right thigh. Use your inhale to find length and your exhale to twist. And then keep your left hand on the right leg and reach your right arm up overhead. Start to drop your left shoulder towards your left knee 
as you reach the right arm overhead into a side body stretch. And then crossing the right arm over the left, hook at your elbows and either hold opposite shoulders or find the eagle wrap of your arms. And inhale, reach your fingertips up. And with an exhale, draw the elbows to your navel and round your spine. Think cow pose as you breathe in, lift the fingertips high. And think cat as you breathe out, round the spine. And just once more, inhale, rise up. And then exhale, contract inward. Unwind the arms, sweep them up overhead. Hands through heart center, interlace your palms, reach them up, breathe in. Side bend to the left, breathe out. Take it through center and over to the right. And then inhale to rise up. And this time on the exhale, twist to the left. Tent the left fingertips behind you, right palm on the left thigh. And the right hand stays, the left arm extends overhead. And you start to drop the right shoulder towards the right knee as you find that side body stretch. left arm over the right arm hook at your elbows find the opposite wrap of your arms inhale to lift the fingertips high and exhale to curl the elbows into the navel twice more breath in and then breath out last time inhale exhale Unwind the arms, reach them up overhead. And then lean forward, plant your palms, drop the head. Use the palms to pull yourself forward over your shins and find tabletop. So coming onto all fours, spread the fingers nice and wide. Cow and cat with breath, soften the belly, inhale as you tilt the tail high. Exhale to round the spine, press the palms into the earth. Inhale as you roll the shoulders back, get broad across the chest. Exhale as you curl the tail underneath you, lift through the back of the heart. Inhale, belly soft, cow pose. Exhale, spine rounds, cat pose. Moving the hips around a little side to side here. And then curl the toes under, lift the hips up, and come to downward facing dog. And soften through the backs of the knees, heavy through the heels. And then inhale, roll forward to your high plank pose. And with an exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, draw the shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, lift the sitting bones to the sky. This time, inhale forward to your high plank and then drop your knees and lower all the way down to your mat, pinning your elbows in next to the ribs. Extend your right arm straight off to the right and roll onto your right side body. Use your left hand as a little kickstand and then bend the left knee and plant the left foot behind the right leg. Your right temple is heavy down on the mat, expanding the breath into the back of the heart. Extend the left leg long, roll onto your belly and switch sides. So left arm reaches wide, pressing into the right palm, roll onto the left side. Straighten the right leg, roll onto your belly. Plant your palms and press straight back to child's pose. Sitting bones to your heels, knees a little bit wider than your hips. Bring the palms together in prayer and draw the thumbs to the nape of your neck as you crawl the elbows a little bit farther forward. 
and heavy the hips back towards the heels. Reconnect with your breath. And straighten the arms forward, rise up to tabletop. Keep your right hand planted and extend your left arm to the sky as you open across the chest and breathe in. And then sweep the arm under the body to a hover as you breathe out. Inhale, open the arm back up to the sky. Exhale, sweep it under you to a hover. And once more, inhale, extend the left fingertips up. Exhale to reach under the body, drop the left shoulder down to the mat, come into your thread the needle shape. So the right palm can walk forward for more support or you can take a half bind with the right forearm around the low back. If you're working with a half bind, unwind and plant the right palm back under the right shoulder. Pressing into the right hand, send the left arm back up to the sky, circle it forward and down, and then switch sides. Right arm reaches up as you breathe in. Right arm sweeps under the body to a hover as you breathe out. Inhale, reach the arm high. And exhale to twist and reach the arm under the body. Last time, breath in. And breath out. This time the right shoulder drops all the way down into thread the needle. And the left palm stays planted or it half binds around the low back. And then come out the same way you came in. So unwind that left arm, plant the palm. Circle the right arm back up to the sky. Plant the hand down on your mat. Curl your toes and lift to downward facing dog. And walk the feet to meet the hands at the top of your mat, forward fold. Rise all the way up to stand. Roll your shoulders back and down. And interlace the hands behind the low back. Drop the chin to your chest and find some little half moon rotations with the neck, moving the chin, the ears from side to side. And then heavy the knuckles, lift the chest. And with soft knees, fold forward, reach the clasp of hands up and overhead. Stretching the knuckles back behind you, inhale to lift up halfway, reach the crown of your head forward and your tailbone back. And then with an exhale, release and fold over the legs, clasp of hands to the sky. Again, halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Last time, breathe in, lift halfway, find length. Breathe out, fold forward, release the hands. Step back to plank. Drop your knees and lower to the mat. Take the hands wide and tent up onto your fingertips. With an inhale, lift your chest up to cobra pose. And then with an exhale, drop your left shoulder to the center of the mat and gaze right. Inhale through center, lift the chest. Exhale, dip the right shoulder down and gaze left. And inhale, lift through center. On an exhale, dip the left shoulder. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, drop the right shoulder to the center of the mat. Once more to each side. breath in lift the chest a little bit higher lower all the way down to your mat plant your palms press back to child's pose
Curl the toes and lift the hips, downward facing dog. Slowly walk the feet to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Rise up to stand, rolling the shoulders back and down. Interlace the hands at the low back. Inhale, lift your chest up. And then exhale, bow forward over your legs. Have soft knees as you fold, reach the clasp of hands overhead. And windshield, wipe the arms slowly from side to side. And then release the hands down to the mat. And step your right foot back to a lunge. Drop the knee down and sweep the arms up. Anjane Asana. Bring the hands through heart center. Interlace your fingers and flip the palms up towards the sky as you breathe in. And side bend to the left as you breathe out. And then rise back up. Release the hands and rotate your right arm forward and your left arm back, opening yourself up. Take the left hand to the low back, reach your right arm up and overhead, finding a slight back bend here in your twist. And then bend your right elbow and land it to the outside of your left knee. Bring the palms together in prayer. Curl the back toes, lift that back knee off of the mat. An option to keep the hands at heart center or to open the arms wide, extending to sky and earth. And then unwind, plant both hands down and just sweep the left knee back to meet the right knee. So you're in a modified plank, your shoulders over your wrists and your hips a little forward, lower down to your belly. Press into the palms, rise right to upward facing dog. So the hips lift up, the arms are straight and you're on the tops of the feet. Roll the shoulders back, open across the chest. And then exhale to lift your hips up and back and find downward facing dog. Look forward, walk the feet forward to the top of the mat. Rise up to stand. Give a little shimmy to your shoulders, roll them forward, roll them back. Just release all that work we've done. And then last time, take the hands to the low back and interlace your fingers. Draw the knuckles down as the heart lifts and then fold forward over the thighs. Crown of head is heavy, knuckles reach to sky. Release the hands to the mat and step the left leg back to your low lunge. Drop the knee down, sweep the arms overhead. Draw the hands through your heart. Interlace your fingers the less familiar way. Flip your palms up towards the sky, breathe in. And side bend to the right as you breathe out. Upright the spine and revolve, left arm forward, right arm back. Your right hand comes to your low back, your left fingertips reach up, and then heavier hips forward so you find a little bit more of a back bend here, lift through the heart. Bend your left elbow, hook it outside of your right knee and come into your prayer twist. Right palm on top of left. And pressing the palms together to open up more through the back body. Again, option to open the arms wide here. With the hands back at your heart, curl the back toes under, lift the left thigh away from the earth, press the heel straight back, and then slowly soften the knee back down, unwind. Sweep the right knee back to meet the left and lower all the way down to your mat.
Inhale to open your heart, cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale the hips high, downward facing. Soften your knees all the way down to your mat, coming into child's pose. This will be our final rest today, unless you've got time and you want to take a traditional Shavasana or a seated meditation. Start to deepen the breath and release all effort here. Taking a moment to honor the work that you've just put in, your commitment and dedication to showing up for yourself. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.